Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. Today, we're going to continue being the biggest scumbag in Bohemia by completing more thievery quests with Preshek, Wojcik, and the random vagabond in Rite. We're going to start things off by God be with talking with Preshek to see what kind of nefarious stuff we can get up to with him. Can you tell me? Um, ooh, okay. It doesn't seem like he has any more quests for us, at least right now. Uh, no worries, though. We're going to do the Vagabond quest since we're near Rite. Uh, Wojcik wants us to go steal a horse up in Mehroed. Uh, we'll be doing that soon. We're also going to be doing this to Viper soon. I want to wait until we can get um, some poisons. That way we can mess these guys up a little and earn some brownie points with our boy Radzik before telling him where they are and uh, how they're kitted out and stuff. I think that's what we're supposed to be doing there. This is the quest that we're going to go do right now. Steal 50 Groshen from the rich woman. If we can't do this in broad daylight, we'll go to Mehroed. And I actually want to go to different towns anyway to go look at the apothecaries to see if they have any poisons. Because the guy in Rote doesn't have any, unfortunately. Uh, this is going to be a super easy quest, though. We're just going to, you know, shoot up there on Jenda, steal this horse, and ride it back to Warzhek. Let's go see if we can find this woman real quick. Uh, I'm going to go to the apothecary in town and see if he has, well, I know that he has marigold decoction formula. That way we can make a bunch of those. I'll put some on the horse, put some in our storage chest, and we'll keep some on our person. That way, no matter where we are, we can top up our health. Hopefully that'll decrease the amount of uh, dying we do. If we're always at 100 health, it will better our chance. Oh, we just passed the lady, I think. Here, I'm going to get a look at her before we... Go to the alchemy guy. That's her? She doesn't look so wealthy to me. What the hell? Thought she was going to be like royalty. She looks like a commoner. Okay, here we go. Let's go talk to this guy. Hopefully the recipe isn't too much. I mean, we have plenty of gold though. 2.5k. Yeah, I'm buying it no matter what. God be with you. Hey, thanks buddy. Can you sell me? A hey, marigold decoction recipe. There we go. Recipe for marigold decoction. 355. Not too bad. There's some other good stuff in here like this. I always overeat on accident, saying that we're starving now. I'm going to go buy some food once we finish here, and we'll eat our fill. But that, the uh, digestive potion, it makes so if you overeat, and you're stuffed like a pig, try taking the potion to soothe the stomach and remember next time, that he who eats modest, modestly lives long. God, that was a bit of a, a tongue twister there. Anyway, let's go ahead and pick this up. Hmm, I don't know. I think I'll hold off for now, but I, I would like to eventually get all these recipes, to be honest. Let's haggle down. Can we do something about the price? Well, we... Uh, and then we'll see what this requires. What do you say to this? Well to make uh, the marigold decoction. I'll have to go over to the alchemy bench to actually see what ingredients we need, and then we'll buy a bunch of those from him and make a few of these marigold decoctions. Aye, that would do it. Okay, not too bad. Reputation gained. That's nice. Uh, we have to actually learn that before it will appear on the alchemy bench. There we go. We've learned the marigold decoction recipe. Now let's go over here start alchemy open our book and where is it it is right here oh uh, crap i think the text at the top left is just what it says on the recipe itself i should have read that <laughs> uh, while it was in the inventory but i'll try to read it right now marigold decoction whoever has been wounded and battered or has bruises and wounds on his body let him try drinking this potion for recovery it helps to heal wounds and gives the body strength to recover. Should it not be enough, though, better to call a physician. It also aids against hangover. You will need a handful of nettles and two of marigold. Drop the nettle in the water and cook for one turn. Leave to cool. Drop in the marigold, but don't boil it anymore. So two marigold, one nettle, and aqua. Which is just, a. Uh just water there. Here. Let's go buy a bunch of marigolds. I swear we had like 500 of those at some point. Just from gathering them. I'll pick some up uh, whenever I see them out in the wilds. 
Same thing with nettle. Don't we have nettle on us now? Yeah, we have 41 nettle on us. This is kind of rare, though, I think. Uh, we had to look for nettle to get the resistance perk. I think you have to pick like 125 of them or something. Let's see how much this guy has. Other. I'm looking for marigolds and nettle. He has five nettle and only five marigolds. Okay. Looks like we're not making many of these today. Uh, unless we find them on our travels. Let me just buy these. I'm not even going to haggle. Let's just close the deal. There we go. I'll go try my hand at making a couple. Start alchemy. So we need water. Here, let me open this on the book. So I just have it ready. Uh, water, a handful of nettles, and two marigold. Um, we need to boil it once, leave it to cool, and then drop the marigold in. Both marigold, huh? At the same time. No pestle and mortaring for this one, it doesn't look like. So we got the aqua. Now let's get the nettle in there. Oh, I have to prepare it. Right? Yeah, hold E to prepare. And it'll put our ingredients down. That also took the water out of the cauldron. Okay, let's get that back in there. Then we will grab our nettle. Put this in the cauldron. Boil it for one turn. How do we do that? Is it bellows? Okay, there's one turn. Now we have to let it cool. I'm going to assume that that just means wait for the fire to go out. And then we'll put our marigold in and distill. It's not quite out yet. Right. Grab the marigold. I don't think you can grab two. I think you have to do it one at a time. So there's one. And there's two. And now I think we grab our vial. And we still it. This will complete the potion. Yep. Then we have to bellows a couple of times. Right? What? Oh god, I hope I didn't just mess that up. Oh no, that's right. Okay, we'll see how many of these we get from one batch. You brewed marigold decoction. Cool. Now, how many did we get? Uh, it's under food, marigold decoction. It looks like we only got... One. Hmm, that kind of sucks. I think you can get two if you do it correctly. That's how it was for the Nighthawk potion anyway. Uh, how many more of these can we make? We have three. We can do one more batch. So I'll do that real quick. And I will reread over this recipe and see if I did anything wrong. Marigold potion. Let's see if we got more for that. Um, oh, okay. So I did do it wrong. You can skip the distilling process and just dump it straight from the cauldron into the vial. And that gave us two marigold potions. Excellent. Uh, I'll try to keep that in mind for when we do it next time so we can be more efficient with our ingredients. Let's go ahead and close up the alchemy place. And we have a date with the regal woman <laughs> and her pockets. So let's go try to find her. I'll leave Jenda there for now. Carrot. Carrots. Oh, I need some carrots. Onions that'll make you cry and garlic that'll keep evil spirits at bay. Oh, I'll take what am it. I doing talking to a pauper like you? Say what now? Goodbye. That's not very nice. Oh my god, give me those. I'll take all those apples. It's amazing. Can Why am I haggling? I probably hmm. shouldn't have haggled with her. Flour, egg, it's like nothing. Salt, yeast. Let it Whatever. bake a bit. Are we You'll agreed? Be able to feed the whole family Come with now. Fresh what? Bitch? Come on. Very well. <laughs> My god. She was not playing no games with us today. Oh, we have a couple of stolen apples too. Oh, we ate those. Or that was just one stolen apple. We'll eat our fill. This isn't very good for nourishment. It's only two. God damn it. I need something with more substance. What's going to give me a bunch of nourishment? A watermelon? Three. No four 
for the radish. I think I'm just going to have to buy a bunch of crap. Oh, these are really good. Yeah, 16 cabbages. Give me all those. Every single one of them. And I'm not even going to With play any games at this chick. Seeds. She's not in the mood to haggle. We'll eat all of these, I think. No. Perfect. A hundred nourishment. We have one cabbage left. We'll save that for later. Uh, here she is. We're going to have to wait until she is in a more suitable location to get into her pockets. Can't do it uh, out in the open like this. It looks like she's on a mission to do something. Put that water somewhere. Let's go ahead and wash up. Uh, and then I'll just follow her around for a bit. And I'll see you guys once she's in like a dark alley or something. Still no better. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> that was a really short conversation. I don't know how stealthy you have to be about pickpocketing in this game. I think I'm going to try it right now. There's a guard there. But nobody really has a good sight line on us. So I'll give this a go. Seems to be working. Okay. We're going to have to grab everything, I think. Oh, there's the Groshen. So we can skip some stuff. I'm going to skip that last one. For the love of God. Oh, Jesus Christ. That was so close. Nobody's seen it. We got a new pickpocketing level. Holy crap. We barely got that. Goods, handy implements, and machines of We're going to go take this Groshen to the Vagabond. And see if he has anything else for us. Uh, so yeah, you can be pretty blatant about picking people's pockets from the looks. You don't have to be like completely secretive. You can do it in broad daylight with uh, people walking around. As long as they're not too close. Hey, look, some nettle. Just, uh, just what we were looking for, kinda. We have a bunch of nettle. I need to keep 30 of it on me for the flower power perk. My respects to you. And to you, I got your gold. Here's your groschen. Good. Keep up for your effort. Interested in another job? You know it. You mentioned another job. I'm all ears. Aye. There's a good widow living in squalor with us in the camp. She sold the last memento she had of her sainted mother to a moneylender so she could feed her young ones. And now she's so torn with regret, she can't sleep nights. You want me to get this memento back? Just so. I'd do it myself. Only, I can't show my face on the town square without the catchpoles kicking my arse. <laughs> Steal her ring back from that usurer, Wolfram Bruda. You can pick your own reward while you're at it. He's so rich it ain't decent. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. May the Lord watch over you. Wolfram Pruda. That's a guy who looks like our arch nemesis. Old Rutch. Or Old Hutch? I can't remember his name. But he's our goddamn arch nemesis. He beat us in an archery competition. I'm pretty sure they're like twins. Uh, looks like he's over... Oh, he might be in a shop. At the bakery shop down here. Is that more nettle? No. Almost so. Kind of looked like it. How about this? No. Let's try to be quick. I want to catch this guy while he's in the shop. I wonder if you can just buy it from him. You probably can. But we'll try to pick it out of his pocket. This is nettle for sure. Yeah. Alright, we'll grab all this. I don't know how many perks we have in the gathering skill. Uh, it seemed like before we could get a whole bunch of stuff in one go. Um, but it seems our area of gathering has gone down. So I'm guessing we are either a lower level or I didn't grab a perk that I needed to grab yet. Where is he? Oh, he... Oh, no. Uh, okay, so same thing. We're just going to walk. And try to pick his pocket. Not too many people around. Let's see how we do here. Seems like it's going okay. The last lady had so much stuff. Oh no, he's got a bunch of shit too. Oh god, we're out. I didn't even grab the coin. Okay. Let's go again. See if we can go for a little bit longer. There is a guy coming up right there. I'm going to stop there. We should be able to get the rest now. The Groshen. I'm looking for like a necklace or something, right? Oh, there it is. The ring. Ooh, some smoked sausage. Might if I do. Okay, we did it. God, that's awesome. An another level in pickpocketing. This is amazing. Okay, I want to look at our skills. 
Uh, what is it? It's herbalism, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay, so we do have all the perks. What the hell? I thought we could gather, like, so much in one grab. Uh, but I guess not. The area isn't as big as I thought it was. Uh, we got a couple of perks in pickpocketing now. Secret pockets. What's that? When looting corpses, you'll find more money. That's good. I think we had that before. Increase your chance of pickpocketing someone with the same charisma level as you. Such people are usually dressed similarly to you. Crowd control. Reduce your chance of being discovered when there's a lot of people around. Whoa. Twice as fast. Oh, man. These are some good-ass perks. Uh, I think we'll get both of these. How many perks do you get? You get 10 perks. How many perks are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, so we only have to skip one. I mean, that should be easy enough. If anyone who likes you at least a little catches you pickpocketing, I don't think anybody's going to like us. So we could probably skip that, or we could skip this charisma-based one. But for now, we're going to get crowd control. That seems really good. An easy way out. That is an amazing perk. That's about as far as I made it before with pickpocketing, I think, on my original character that I wasn't recording. Um, and yeah, that perk is amazing. You can just fly around in their inventory and grab everything. All right, let's go return to the Vagabond. I don't know how many more jobs he's going to have for us, but hey, this is a lot of fun. So I'll do uh, as many as he can give us. I don't think they're radiant. I think they're uh, unique quests. It's not like he's going to keep giving us quests forever. I think he will run out. I would like to go steal that horse before we end this episode, though. So I think I'll grab this quest. I'll turn this quest in. I'll grab a new one. Uh, and then we'll go steal that horse for Wojciech. I've got that ring. Ha! That'll bring tears of joy to that poor widow. I hope you filled your own pocket while you were at it. You're a handy lad. You could be king of all the thieves in Ratai. Oh my god, I would love to be the king of all the thieves. What else have you got for me? Something really special this time. There's a stuck-up cloth merchant from Ladechko who comes to Ratai from time to time. The bastard claims poverty is God's punishment on us for our sins. I'd like to show him what God's punishment looks like. Now, if you were to lift his guild seal from his pouch, he'd never live down the shame of losing it once the guild gets wind of it. The mills of God grind slowly but surely, eh? And we'll help them along. As a reward, I'll get you something really wonderful. Just wait and see. Oh, I'm on it. I'm on it. See you later. We're making some serious headway in Rite <laughs> with the thieves and all the beggars. I wonder if you can get these guys out of the slums. If we steal enough from the rich and give to the poor, maybe that would be something that we could do. Uh, where was that guy? He said the Ladechko. Why is it? Why is it back on that? It's so annoying. He said something about Ladechko, right? Yeah, he's in Ladechko now. Cool. Well, that gives us a reason to go to a new town and talk to an alchemist. Uh, but like I said, we're going to go up to Mefroed and steal that horse for Wojciech. And then quickly return it to him. I'll try to keep an eye out for any marigold on our travels. I think it's just a, a yellow plant. Should be easy enough to spot on horseback. In fact, did I just pass him? Yeah, that's it. That's got to be it. Or is that dandelion? Uh, I think that's dandelion. Yeah, god damn it. Marigold. Dandelion. Huh. Well, anyway, once I find some, I'll let you see it. That way we know what we're looking for. But for now, it's going to be a lot of horsebacking. All the way up to Mehroed. That's got to be it. I think I found some marigold here. No. St. John's Wart. Yuck. Uh-oh. Whoa. That sounds like our friend. Can I remember his name? Alright, well, I guess we get off and fight this guy. Oh, shit. Can I open my inventory? Yeah, I can. I need to grab my armor. Move to inventory. Move to inventory and inventory, whatever. Um, Let me throw that on if I can. I don't know if it'll let you. Give it a whirl. That goes over our jacket. Yep. And now we need... Oh, we didn't need these. Where are my... There. Uh, yeah. We're good. 
and pull up my sword. This guy doesn't look like he's got much in the way of arms. He's got no armor on, for the most part. He's got a light jacket, and then just an axe. I'll block one, and then we'll go in for the kill. Actually, we could probably juke him out. Ow! Yeah, we can't just juke him out. Oh, he's giving up. Can I mercy kill him? I'll just kill his ass. Whatever. Shit, get your ass over here. Don't you run from me. I'm faster than you. I've got that perk. Oh, if he can swim. I can't swim. He's foiled us. Oh, man. He knows our weakness. How did you know? How did you know I couldn't swim? Whatever. I'll stick a pot shot on him. Fuck you. That's what you get for messing with old Henry. Where'd your axe go? I wouldn't mind taking that. Well, shit. Maybe we should have just talked to him. Thought we could just stab him to death real quick. Hey, more nettle. God, we're just running into this crap all the time. Oh, there it is. Whoa. <laughs> Cooper's axe? What? Is that a named axe? Uh, traditional tool. Huh. That's weird. I thought it was a name. Like, uh, just a guy's name. Oh, and I'm overloaded over that crap. Whatever. I might even just drop that axe. It didn't seem to be very valuable. What is it worth? Eh, whatever. I'll hold on to it. I'll put it on the horse. As well as our armor. Or should I keep the armor on us for now? I might as well just keep it on. I'll move that to the horse. Oh, what else can we move to the horse? All of our apples can go. Some of that. Oh, our marigold decoctions. I'll put two of those on him. All this food. I need to drop these. I don't like to mess around with those because I have that save mod. And I don't want to, you know, be a scumbag and sell those if we're not going to be actually needing them on our character. Yeah, that's what the marigold looks like. Do I have any more save your snaps? I don't. That went on the ground, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's move along. <laughs> I like how that bandit was running, like, neck deep in the water. Come on, man. I don't think we can do that. Henry doesn't even get, like... <laughs> he gets, like, up to his knees and he's afraid. That'd be kind of cool if you could teach him to swim, though. Found a shrine. We're right by Ledechko. Cut through the river here. How much further do we have to go? Uh, God, we got a long way to go. I'm gonna follow the river all the way up. Uh... Up on this path and just head west from yeah. there. Okay, we're at the end of the river. Oh, Jenda's actually getting tired. What's that? Wait, is this marigold? Oh my god, it's not yellow. Holy shit. We hit the gold mine. I'm gonna collect all this real quick. We get strength XP for doing this as well. I wonder if when you're doing alchemy, if you put just a ton of ingredients in, if you'll get a bunch of potions out. Or if you have to do it one at a time. I'll probably look that up in between episodes. It'll be really tedious if you have to do it one at a time. I hear that you can do some auto potion making once you get a higher level. So that'll make it easier. And hey, we just advanced a strength level by grabbing all this marigold and stuff. How much more of this am I going to gather? We got a new perk in strength. I'll probably check that out here in a sec. I'm officially over encumbered with Marigolds and Valerian. All right, last one. Let's check out how many Marigolds we have now. Uh, 113 Marigolds, 90 Nettle. Hmm. Let's get this up to 180 before we leave. That way we have a, an even amount because we need two Marigolds. For every nettle. I've actually picked the place clean from the looks. Uh, yeah. All the marigold's gone. So, looks like we are going to be leaving. Oh, let's take a look at that perk that we got. I don't think... Yeah, I never spent the other perk. We have mule one. 15 more pounds. Grave digger, stronghold. Tight grip. Your stamina regenerates. Regeneration will not slow down in combat even on the weapon backswing. That's very good. You can deplete an opponent's health and stamina by bumping into him at a sprint. 
the effect is increased i think that's really good clinch master 40 percent higher chance of overpowering your opponent in a clinch blocking an opponent's strike with your shield will cost 30 percent less stamina we don't really use a shield uh, i think we'll get tight grip for sure seems very useful hmm four so when you're on your horse you can run into people and do damage to them based on how heavy your armor is i think yeah um I don't know how useful that will be. I mean, we could definitely use it in certain situations, but generally speaking, I mean, you kind of have to have them in a perfect spot. They have to be like on a road so you could bump into them. I don't know if I like that very much. I might go for Clinch Master. Uh, yeah, I think I will grab that. There we go. Spent both of our strength perks. Oh shit, we're still over encumbered though. Here, let me throw this on Jenda. All of our plants. But I'll keep 30 nettle on me. So we keep our fragrance perk. We still have it? Yep, flower power. Oh no, there's more marigold down here. Okay. Well, back to the old grind. Alright, I got it all. Now, let's actually <laughs> go to Mehroad now. I'm not going to make any more stops. Yeah. Oh, there's a guy on the road. What are you doing? Should I pick his pocket? Nah, I yeah. said no more stops, and I meant it. Ooh, it's tempting. There's two of them. Okay, I think we're coming up on Mehroed now. Yeah, that's it for sure. I know exactly where the stables are as well, because we bought our horse from here not too long ago. They're just up here to the right. Looks like it. Oh, shit. Did I, like, kill a guy? Oh, that's another thing. If we got that boar perk, I would be murdering people. Because I run into pedestrians all the time on my horse. Which horse uh, do we have to steal? Mountain Steel. Mountain Blade Banner Lord. I don't know why. I was just thinking about that. Uh, okay. Let's see. How do we find out which one we need to grab? Steal the horse. Oh, any horse. Well, let's get a fast one. 49. Oh, no. 38 speed on that guy. 39 on this one. All right. Kind of sketchy that we're leaving Jenda there. But I can just call her out. Oh my god, I called him a her again. God damn it. I can just call him out. I apologize, Jenda. In fact, you know what? For immersion's sake, I'm gonna hop off and call Jenda. <laughs> I really don't like him sitting in there. Where you at, buddy? There he is. Excellent. Here, let me go back into stealth mode and steal this again. Alright, now we got the long ride back to Miller Warjack. Just imagine. Boom! Dead. Oh, I found a grave. Eh, might as well dig it up, I guess. Where is it? Whoa, somebody already dug it up. Won the tourney if you can. We failed it. What the hell? What's going on here? Yeah, somebody already dug all these up. This looks really weird. Looks like they were digging for buried treasure. God damn it. I was late to the party. I wanted some treasure. Alright. After many minutes of riding, here we are. Back at Wojciech's Mill. How do we turn this in? I think I can just drop it off. Take the horse to... Yeah, okay. Now we can go talk to him. And get our reward. Where are you, Wojciech? As always, sitting over here. I have the horse. I have that horse for you. You're a gem, Henry. Just exactly what I was after. Now, you take your reward, and I'll take a ride. 200 Groshen. Damn, he pays out. Uh, he's got another quest, but I think this is enough for today. So I'm going to go ahead and call it an episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.